find a nice long spine. And then just as you sit up, draw the belly in and lift it up. So there's a feeling of, of empowerment or firming up in the lower belly. And with that lifting up motion, just see if you can let that work its way all the way through the spine. So you're lifting up through the crown of the head, nice and tall. And in sitting up nice and tall, you'll notice that there's a, a, an ease in terms of opening up around the chest, letting the shoulders relax down. So there's a feeling of different muscles having switched on around the center of your body. And then take the palms to face upwards. And that draws your shoulders down the back a little, firing up upper back, which is really nice for our, our posture there. And then go ahead and close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, just see if you can maintain all of that length and space and strength in the spine and the tissues around the spine, but can you just soften and relax into that? And it's not the intention of the practice today that we'll be focusing on having good posture all of the time or having a strong core and engaged all of the time. But I want you to just from time to time as we practice today, just remind yourself that as you're sitting right now, this is how your spine likes to be. Even better if we were standing up like this. And as you sit here, just notice if it feels like your head draws forward a little. And if it does, can you kind of push the chin back towards the, the neck? So it almost feels like you're creating a, a double chin. And then you'll feel the muscles in the back of the neck fire up here as well. And again, do that, but then as you exhale, just soften and relax into that feeling of, of power in the upper body. And the more we can maintain the strength in the upper body and the way in which the upper body connects to the lower body, the, the less injuries and sore bits we're going to have over time. A feeling of alignment, everything working more efficiently and effectively. So as you close your eyes, just let the lips lightly fall apart and just take a moment to breathe in, either through the nose or the mouth, but let the mouth stay relaxed either way. And as you breathe in, see if there's space to grow even taller through the length of your body, so lifting upward, expanding into the ribs, the lungs, the heart space area. And as you exhale, just drawing everything back into center. And as you breathe in, just soften, melt, relax, grow and expand. And as you breathe out, notice that feeling of power as you draw everything back into center. So we're using a muscle, one of the breathing muscles, the diaphragm here. And as you inhale again, expand and that muscle's drawing down to create space for the lungs to fill up. And the exhale, that massive, that muscle is engaging and drawing everything back upward, pushing out the energy that we no longer need. And let's do that three more times so you can feel the power. So inhale, expand. And then exhale, awareness of control, drawing back in. Two more times, inhale, filling up, softening, expanding. Exhale, feeling the power in the core as you draw everything back to center and let go of everything else. Last big breath like this. And we want to keep that feeling of the core, the breathing muscles working with us as we practice. They're strengthening the core with us as well. So let's just slowly start to open our eyes. Okay. Gently lift the block from underneath your bottom and we're gonna lie ourselves down onto our backs, but you want to have the block within reach, okay? So take a moment. Come halfway down the mat. And we'll keep it nice and simple to begin with. We're going to place the block in between the thighs, squeezing the block into, uh, squeezing the thighs into the block, palms of the hands pushing into the ground. And as you inhale, you're just going to slowly lift the bottom from the ground. And we're not back bending, we're just lifting the hips and the legs. So you'll feel the glutes and the hamstrings fire up. And I always refer to the core as being the torso, the upper body. But the, the glutes and the, the, these lower back muscles and the, the hip muscles here, they have some control over the core as well. So I like to make sure we're strengthening those areas too. And then let's just slowly lower the hips down. So if you can do it vertebrae by vertebrae. So there's an element of control in the deeper abdominal muscles. 
And then just inhale again, really slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, lifting the ribs away from the ground, squeezing the block into the thighs, thighs into the block. So inner thighs and glutes working hard. Back of the muscles on the lower back working as well. And then slowly start to lower down. Again, vertebrae by vertebrae. So you're using control from the lower pelvic area as well. Last one like this, inhale, curling yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae. Lifting up, squeezing, holding, and then softening around the jaw, the neck and the shoulders. Nice, and then just slowly start to lower yourself back down, okay? Release the block. And then place the block um, on the left thigh and your left shin is now gonna come to be parallel to the floor. And then take your left elbow and squeeze it into your block or book. So your head is gonna lift up a little bit here. Okay, and then interlace your fingers behind the head. And once you're ready, take your right leg up towards the sky. Sorry if I'm shouting into your ears. And you're flexing the feet. Nice big breath, try and lift up even higher so your right shoulder blade and left shoulder blade are off the mat. And as you inhale, take a nice big breath. And as you exhale, just start to reach that right heel away from you, leg is straight, hovering above the floor. So your quads are working to straighten the leg, but your core and psoas are gonna be working here as well. So as you inhale, carry that leg back up to center, your upper back is still lifted. And then exhale, lower and hover above the floor. Check in with the shoulder blades, keep them lifted. Inhale the leg slowly back up to the sky. Slower you go, more you'll feel things working. Exhale, lower and hover. Nice, and then last one, inhale all the way back up. Release the block, lower the feet back down to the ground. Just take an inhale and exhale here, realign. And then switch the block over to the right side. So right thigh lifts from the floor, right elbow connects to the block, squeezing those two things against each other. Interlace the fingers behind the head. When you're ready, lift the shoulder blades from the ground, lift up through left heel, flex both feet. And as you exhale, just slowly start to release the leg away. Hovering above the floor, inhale, slowly back up to the sky. And then exhale, slowly come to hover. Inhale, lifting. And then last time, exhale slowly. You should start to feel something in the abdominals now. Inhale, slowly lifting. Great, release your block and just slowly come into a full body stretch. Fingers and toes reaching away from each other. Okay, so something a little bit different for a moment. We're gonna start with the core on the ground and then we'll work our way into the practice. So as you inhale now, you're gonna slowly start to lift your upper body vertebrae by vertebrae, lift your right leg, left hand to the outside of right foot and then twist, right hand back. So now we're working obliques and muscles in the back of the spine as well as the front. And then inhale, just as slowly, you're almost in a kind of half boat pose and then you're gonna lower yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae, leg comes down, arms reach up overhead. And then inhale, you'll slowly lift yourself up, try to resist momentum, left leg lifts, right hand to left leg, left hand reaching back, so a little spinal twist here as well. And then pause, come back to face forwards, and then lower yourself down, vertebrae by vertebrae, arms reach overhead. Two more times, use your own breath. Two more times on each side. So right hand reaching back when right leg is lifted. Slowly pausing before you lower yourself back down to the ground, resisting momentum to be the mover. Using the abdominals and the power of the side body to help us to twist. Slowly coming back through center one more time or one last time, I should say, with this technique. Sitting up tall as you twist, so you're lengthening in between the vertebrae, taking your time. And then when you finish those rounds of twisting, you're just gonna slowly lie yourself back down and come into a full body stretch. Fingers and toes reaching away from each other. And then you'll bring a bend back into the knees, Reach over for your block or book. And this time you're gonna take the left leg up and you're gonna take the block on the second width if you have that. If you have a book, you'll just work with what you have. And then you're putting the elbow and knee 
um, against each other here. You can also, if you want to keep the head down, place the block on the third height and keep it in between the elbow. So I'm going to demonstrate with, with that version. You can choose what you want to do. So then you're going to extend the right leg down to the ground, right arm up overhead. Point the toes towards you on both of those feet. And then as you inhale, you're going to see if you can lift the arm and foot up towards each other. They might touch, probably they won't. Head and shoulders are going to lift a little. And then inhale really slowly, lower the leg back down to the ground and the arm. And then inhale, slowly lifting fingers and toes towards each other on the right side. Inhale, slowly lifting down. One more time, inhale, slowly lifting. And then exhale, lowering down. And just for fun, let's do one more. Inhale, slowly lifting. Inhale, lowering down. And then switch straight to the second side. So set yourself up, right elbow and block, whichever height you've chosen to work with, connecting. And then extend left arm and left leg away from each other, okay? And as you inhale, point the toes towards each other, lift left leg, lift left arm up towards each other at the top of the room. And then inhale, slowly start to lower down. Reach up with fingers, reach up with toes, and then lower yourself slowly back down, okay? Inhale, slowly lifting, and then exhale, slowly lowering, and we've got one more for fun. Inhale, slowly lifting, and then exhale all the way down, release the block, come into a nice long full body stretch, fingers and toes reaching away from each other. Big inhale, big exhale. And then hug the knees into the chest and let's just rock and roll ourselves back and forth along the mats, taking our time and then slowly lifting ourselves up to a seat. And then come on over from your seat into tabletop position. Take the hands, reach them nice and wide apart. Okay, spread fingers as wide as you can. As you inhale, let's just stretch out through the belly area. Chest comes forward, shoulder blades draw back, tailbone lifting. See how that feels to create a little bit of space there. Nice, and then inhale, round through the spine, draw the chin in towards the chest, separating shoulder blades now. Inhale, chest forward, belly softens. Keep that block near the top of the mat if you can as you exhale round through the spine. And then inhale, come back through center. And then exhale, rounding. Last one in your own breath. Inhale, offering an opening of the front body. Exhale, offering a rounding of the back body. And then let your inhale just slowly start to bring you back to center. Walk the hands forwards a little as you tuck the toes under, lifting up into downward facing dog. Hips nice and high, shoulders away from the ears, thighs reaching back, belly drawing in. Okay, just walking the dog for a moment, lengthening out through the back of the legs, checking in with how things feel. Keep pushing the ground away, lift the hips nice and high. And as you inhale, let's just slowly lift right leg up, three-legged downward dog. And try and keep the hips in line with each other. Think about this as strengthening glutes and then lengthening through the front of the leg as well. And can you keep the leg lifted and just slowly come forward into a one-legged plank? Push away through left heel a lot. Reach away, make sure your bottom's not too high. It's like you're squeezing a block in between the thighs energetically. And then lift that leg back up to downward facing dog. And let's do that one more time, just for fun, just because we can. Come into one-legged plank. Leg doesn't have to lift as high as mine, just to where you can carry it. And then take it back to three-legged downward dog. Bend the knee, open the hip up to the side of the room. And while you're here, push down through left heel as you lift right knee high. So a few different things happening. Front hip opening on lifted leg, hamstring area opening on left leg. Nice, and then square the hips to the ground, foot returns to the floor, and straight away, left leg lifting. Heel reaching away, toes reaching towards you. Keep the leg lifted, inhale, plank position. Gaze forward, pushing through the heel, leg nice and straight where you can. And then carry it back up, downward facing dog. 
Keep the hips in line with each other. So your one long line of energy, front and back and side body, in terms of core working, come forward to plank. And then keep the leg lifted, lift up to downward dog. Bend the knee, open the hip to the side of the room, find your space. Push down through right heel so you get into back of right leg as well. And then square the hips to the ground, foot returns to the floor, okay? So just take a moment here, hips high. Look forward as you soften your knees, hop, step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. So working psoas, working muscles in the lower back, working deeper muscles in the core, draw that tailbone down. Fingers are gonna reach up. Take a big breath. Put the weight into the right foot, pick left foot up, draw the heel in towards your bottom so you're strengthening through the back of the leg as well. Stabilizers on the outer right hip working hard, belly also. Put left foot down, lift right foot up, heel reaching towards bottom. Big inhale and exhale, and then place that foot down, hands at heart center. Exhale, twist to the left, right elbow to the outside of knee, hooking around, and then draw the belly in so you're using your side stomach muscles here to help you. Weight into the left foot, look down, pick right foot up. Keep squeezing belly in, engaging those side stomach muscles. Keep reaching right heel to bottom. And then lower right foot down, inhale chair pose, keep the hands at heart center. Exhale to the right, left elbow hooks outside of right knee, heart around to hands, hand to heart. Weight into right foot, look down. Squeeze left heel up towards the bottom. Keep twisting, keep drawing belly in, firming up. Lots of different things around that hip core connection. Place the foot down, release, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back to plank. Okay, get nice and firm in the legs in plank here. Take a nice big breath. And then take the right hand into the middle of the mat, a couple of centimeters forwards. Come onto the outside edge of right foot, left hand up to the sky, side plank. You can stagger the feet if you want, you can lower right knee to the ground if you want. Take a nice big breath. You can add the challenge if you wish of bringing left elbow and left knee to touch. And then reaching back to where you were. We'll do that one more time if you're taking the challenge, left elbow and knee to touch, and then arm and knee reaching away. Hand will come down, readjust briefly to plank. Change direction, left hand into the center of the mat, adjust the hand forward a little, come onto outside edge of left foot, right hand up to the sky, find your sweet spot. If it feels okay for you, pick up right foot, elbow, knee connect. Side stomach muscles working. Take it back to plank. One more time if you're with me, knee and elbow touch. Take it back to plank. And then slowly come back to the regular plank. Chaturanga all the way down. Take your block that's nearby and just place it in between your hands ahead of you. Okay, look down, push into the top of the feet, lift the knees. And then just slowly grab the block, lift the block away from the ground. And then lift the feet away from the ground and you're just looking down. Feel the strength in the upper back, lower back as well. Nice big breath. This is the cat that many of you are gonna meet when you watch the video later today. One more breath. And then lower the block, lower the forehead to the ground. Take a big inhale and exhale. That was just the warm up. Squeeze the block with the hands. Inhale, lift the legs, lift the feet, lift the arms. Take the block into the right hand, take the block around to rest on your bottom. Strengthening the back of the body now. Right hand forward. Left hand reaches around, takes hold of the block, brings the block in between the hands. Stay lifted. Block into left hand, block around to the bottom. Left hand forward, lift a little higher. Right hand around to grab the block. Block into the hands, lift a little higher, big breath. And then lower down, pause. Rest your head into your hands or your arms. Take a big inhale and exhale. Block to the side when you're ready. 
hands next to the chest, tug the toes, lift up to plank, exhale downward facing dog. Hips nice and high, push the ground away with those hands. Sit up nice and tall, okay, or as, in, as if you were seated, okay. Look forward, soften the knees, hop step or jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Fingers meet above the head. Pick up your left foot. Knee draws into the chest, foot flexed. Hands through heart center. Hinge from the hips forwards, warrior three. Left heel reaching back. Stabilizers of the core working, even though it classically doesn't feel like a core crunch or anything. Back of the spine working. Reach away with that left heel a lot. Nice and strong. Okay, take another breath, bring a bend into the knee, sinking down a little. Now a little bit of outer hip work, keep pushing away with left heel. Okay, and then arms forward, sink down into chair pose. Take a big breath. Start to come onto the balls of the feet, lower down into toe squat. Heels stay lifted, hands can come to heart center, but I sometimes feel like gravity with the arms forward makes it easier. Push into the toes, lift back up into chair, and then slowly come all the way up to standing, still on toes. Heels are gonna come down, hands come back into heart center. Big inhale and exhale here. Arms come up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into chair pose, sink down nice and low. I haven't forgotten the other side, we're coming back around in a minute. Lower the bottom down to the ground, this time with both feet flat to the ground. Lower the bottom to the floor. Grab your block, place it in between your thighs, coming into boat pose, Navasana. Chest open, squeeze block in nice and firm. Interlace fingers into a little pistol shape here above your knees, flex the feet. As you inhale, take the arms over to the left. Come back through center, cross over to the right. Back through center, over to the left. Back through center, to the right. Keep squeezing the block, back through center to the left. Over to the right. Inhale to left, over to the right, exhale. Three more times each side, left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, come back into center, release the hands, lower down halfway, legs start to straighten out, chest stays lifted. I can't go down as far as I should because of my mic, but you'll go deep, deep, deeper. One more breath. And then come back up into Navasana, shins parallel to the ground. Bring the feet down, release the block, knees wide, come back up into chair pose. Standing nice and tall. Start to straighten your way up. Draw right knee in towards your chest. Okay, hands through heart center, push that right heel away. Strong in the left leg, reach away with the right. Nice big breath, take your time. Start to soften left knee. Keep belly drawn in. All of those muscles around the corset working as well as the outer hip and the inner thigh. Sinking down, but keep reaching through right heel. One more breath. Arms forward, come back into chair pose. Take your time. Sink a little deeper. Hands through heart center, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step it back to plank. Hand, right hand into center, come onto outer edge of right foot. Left foot stacks on top, left hand up to the sky. Nice big breath. Join me if you want to, five rounds of crunches, left elbow, left knee. Coming into side plank, extending. Second time, elbow to knee. Extending, make sure you're lifting up through left hip, pushing the ground away with right hand, elbow, knee, connect, third round. And lifting. Leave to plank if you need to sooner. Left elbow, fourth round. One more to go, stay focused, elbow and knee. Can you keep the knee and elbow connected for just a moment? And then release it back to side plank. Lower down to regular plank. We have a second side, 
left hand into the middle of the mat, outer edge of left foot on the ground, right foot on top. A vary it up as you need to. Join me for five rounds if you want to. Lift right elbow and knee and back to side plank. Second round, elbow and knee touch. Back to side plank. Third round, halfway there, side plank. Fourth round, elbow and knee touch. Back to side plank. Last one. Hold it there. And release. Hand to the ground. Adjust yourself back to a nice strong plank. We're almost there. Chaturanga. Inhale. Choice of uplift. Stretch out through the core. Take a nice big breath. Tug the toes under, lift up through plank, downward facing dog. Hips nice and high. Hands push the ground away, hips high, thighs reaching back. So we've worked our way around all of the four sides of the core. We've looked a little at the, the outer hip. We've worked with the inner thigh. We've worked with front of leg. We've worked with back of leg. One more round and then we will slow things down. Inhale, right leg lifting. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Knee across the body, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, knee to the outside of right elbow. Three-legged downward dog. Knee across the body, left elbow. Come onto the inside of left foot. Hug right knee into the chest, okay? Some of you will extend the leg out. Some of you will keep the knee drawn in. Big breath. Left hand down, travel back into three-legged downward dog. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip to the side of the room. Choice to stay there or flip it over into wild thing. Opening up front body after all of that work. Powerful back body. Big breath. And then slowly hand down. Step back to down dog, both feet on the floor. Hips high. Shoulders away from the ears, neck relaxed, head relaxed. Inhale, pick that left leg up, almost there. Knee to nose, exhale. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, knee across the body, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Knee as you exhale, left outer arm. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Knee across the body, right elbow, inside edge of right foot to the ground. Hug that left knee in as right hand lifts or extend left leg out, choice is yours. Place right hand down, travel back to three-legged downward dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Flip it over into wild thing if it's in your practice, if you feel like that today. Back body strong, front body open. Big breath. And then take left hand down. Travel back slowly and easily to downward dog. Take three big breaths in down dog. Check in with how it feels through the back of the legs, through the core, through the side stomach. Moving your body just for a short period of time every day. Taking time to find balance, front, back, outside, inside. One more breath. Okay, and then let's slowly start to look forward. Walk the feet halfway there, bend the knees. Bring the bottom down to the ground. Take the feet out ahead of you. On the left side, right knee is gonna draw into the chest. Let the knee drop out to the side of the mat. Foot meets the inner thigh, okay? Belly draws in towards the spine. Sit up nice and tall as you inhale. And as you exhale, align yourself with the leg. Just begin to fold your way forward and over that leg. Take your time, check in with how it feels through the back of the leg, check in with how it feels through the lower back. Think about lengthening through the spine and I want you to keep the belly drawn in so you're using your deeper coral muscles to, to take you into that fold. Let the heart rate slow down just a little. And then just slowly when the next breath is finished, begin to roll yourself up vertebrae by vertebrae and take the legs as wide away from each other as you can. So foot now meets towards the groin, 
and that leg that's straight is reaching out a little wider. Lean down the side of that leg, take the other hand to the lower back and just lean back with the shoulder. And if it feels good, start to reach the arm up and over so you're releasing into lower back and side stomach here as well. Taking a moment before stillness to release those areas that we started to tap into. And that was a really quick session but gave us a little flavor of using the muscles on the front of the stomach, the side stomach, the back of the body, the deeper abdominal muscles, the glutes, all in some straightforward, simple movements that we can do in any kind of practice at home. Inhale, slowly come back up through to center. Take the hand behind you on the ground, come onto the shin, lift up and forward, stretch out front body as the arm reaches back. And then lower bottom to the ground. Extend in front of you the bent leg so it's now straight. The straight leg now becomes bent. Okay, toes point towards you on the straight leg. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold over the leg. And you're reaching heart towards toes, toes towards heart. Trying to align your body with the leg as much as you can. Finding a little length and space. Notice if the back of this leg feels different to the other side. Slow it down. Check in with how the mind is doing. One more breath. And then just slowly you'll begin to roll yourself up. Vertebrae by vertebrae, getting ready for that side body stretch as you take the legs nice and wide now, groin open. Toes point towards you, spine long. And just lean over the straight leg. Other hand to lower back. Stay there if you feel good or reach the arm up and over. You can also be up here or hand resting on the back of the head. Just getting into the side stomach and lower back, QL in particular. Releasing and mobilizing these tissues. Muscles that sometimes get weaker and weaker from us sitting down so much. And if we don't use these muscles, no matter how briefly each day, we lose the ability to use them when we really need them. Let's come back up through center, take the hand behind the back to the floor, come onto the shins, lift the hips forward and up, arm reaching back. And then slowly, bottom comes down through the ground. Bring the hands under the knees. Now you have the option to stay seated for your Shavasana if you prefer because this is a shorter session or you can lie yourself down coming onto your backs. If you're lying down and you need a little bit of movement before Shavasana, hug the knees in and just roll yourself a little from side to side first. Otherwise, take a moment to get comfortable on your back. Arms out wide. And then those of you who prefer to stay seated for the minute or just over that we have, feel free to stay seated. Spine long, shoulders down the back. And just use this time of stillness, whether you're upright or lying down, to pause and check in. Slow down the heart rate. Slow down the breath. Let go of any effort to be here. Those of you lying down, just start to bring a little wiggle and awareness into the fingers and the toes. And gently start to reach the arms up overhead, coming into a full body stretch. 
Draw the knees in towards the chest, giving them a hug as you roll a little from side to side, back and forth. Eventually coming to roll over and rest for a moment on your side. And when you feel ready, just beginning to bring yourself up to a comfortable seat. Take a moment to pause, check in with how you feel. And then let's bring the hands into heart center. Bowing our head to our hands in gratitude for our, our movement, our health, our practice. Namaste.